I'm Harshini, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today, I'm going to show you what steps to take if you are having trouble connecting to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance that has an Amazon Elastic Block Store general purpose SSD root volume, even though CPU and memory aren't fully used. Let's get started. There are many possible causes of this problem, including problems with an external service that your instance relies on, disk thrashing, or network connectivity issues. Today, I will discuss one common cause, which is depleted I.O. burst credits on the GP2 root volume. After logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the EC2 dashboard. Then, select the instances. Select the instance having connection issues. On the Storage tab, choose the Volume ID of the root device. This will take you to the EBS console. Choose the Monitoring tab for the EBS volume and then find the Burst Balance metric. A Burst Balance of 0% means that all the burst credits are used and the volume can't burst above its baseline performance level. Let's now see what methods we can use to solve the problem if Burst Balance is at 0%. First, let's see how to estimate the IOPS requirements for your volume. In the EBS console, copy the EBS root volume ID. From the monitoring tab for the EBS volume, select the View All CloudWatch Metrics option. This takes you to the Amazon CloudWatch console. In the search bar, paste the volume ID we just copied. Select EBS per volume metrics. Select the volumes, volume read ops and volume write ops metrics. Navigate to the graphed metrics tab. Under statistic column, select sum as the metric to get the peak levels of volume read ops and volume write ops. Go to the graph and add the values for volume read ops and volume write ops. In my case, volume read ops is 153,663. Volume write ops is 40,545 and my total is 194,208. To estimate how many IOPS you need, divide the total by the number of seconds in the measurement interval. In my case, the measurement interval is 5 minutes, which is 300 seconds. Hence, 194,208 divided by 300 is equal to 647 IOPS. Now that we know what your IOPS requirement at peak workloads is, there are three possible solutions. The first solution is to increase the size of your EBS volume. Baseline performance for GP2 volume scales linearly at three IOPS per GB of the volume size. Divide the value of total IOPS by 3, which gives you a value for your EBS volume size. Dividing 647 by 3 gives us 215. This means that a volume with 647 IOPS must be scaled up to 215 GB to improve performance. Before scaling the size to improve performance, be sure that the instance the EBS volume is attached to supports that value of IOPS that you are provisioning. For example, some instances that support EBS optimization have a maximum IOPS value that they can handle. You can find the link to this article in the description. Note, if you reach the maximum volume modification rate per volume limit, you must wait at least six hours before applying further modifications to the affected EBS volume. The second solution is to change your volume type. You can change your volume type from GP2 to GP3. These volumes deliver a consistent baseline rate of 3000 IOPS and 125 megabytes per second included with the price of the storage. You can provision additional IOPS up to 16,000 and throughput up to 1000 megabytes per second for an additional cost. In case of GP3 volumes, the maximum ratio of provisioned IOPS to provision volume size is 500 IOPS per gigabyte. You can specify how many IOPS you need without increasing the volume size. 
You can also modify your volume type from GP2 to provisioned IOPS SSD volume IO1 if your workload requires sub millisecond latency and sustained IOPS performance. However, note that the maximum ratio of provisioned IOPS to requested volume size is 50 IOPS per GB for IO1 volumes and that these volumes can range in size from 4 GB to 16 TB whereas GP3 volumes range between 1 GB to 16 TB. The third solution is to change how you distribute your workload. When you have multiple applications on an EC2 instance, those applications compete for the root EBS volumes IOPS. As your workload grows over time, the IOPS demand increases. To improve performance on your instance, consider using additional non-root EBS volumes for your applications. Also, consider using the root volume for the operating system only. And now, you know how to troubleshoot the root cause of connection issues to your EC2 instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.